B1 family. In a surprise ruling today, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court has vacated Bill Cosby's sentence, allowing him to be released from prison. He is now free after being accused and unlawfully convicted of allegedly drugging and sexually assaulting Andrea Constant. He has been released on a technicality related to the criminal case's first district attorney, Bruce Castor Jr. In the ruling, the state Supreme Court determined that Cosby's was denied access to a fair trial because Castor had agreed in 2005 that he would not charge Mr. Cosby with a crime due to lack of evidence. After Castor left the district attorney's office, Mr. Cosby was later arrested, prosecuted, and subsequently illegally convicted by Castor's successor, Kevin Steele, in 2015. Mr. Bill Cosby's release from prison occurred on Wednesday. Nonetheless, this did not stop some of the white liberal shills and bootlicks from reinforcing the false narrative about Mr. Cosby's case. Enter in Mark Lamont Hill, who has represented ideas and media organizations that have historically been unfair in their reports and portrayals of individuals within the black community. For example, upon the news of Mr. Cosby's release was announced, Mark Lamont Hill sent a tweet in which he bashed and highly criticized the state of Pennsylvania's correction of their unjust and illegal conviction of an innocent black man. Mark Lamont Hill further exposed his ignorance of facts and possible hatred for foundational black Americans, which did not come as a surprise, as in recent years a handful of black media personalities have been exposed, acting against the uplifting and empowerment of the black community in America. In his display of self-hatred in subsequent videos, Mark Lamont Hill kept conflicting the amount of women that accused Mr. Cosby as being his actual victims, while ignoring the fact that all the alleged victims were being represented by the same law firm. Further, almost all the alleged victims had never filed a police report or complained against Mr. Cosby, but only started coming forward once it was determined that Mr. Cosby's insurance company would be paying out victims. Mark Lamont Hill showed no remorse for justice by giving legitimacy to individuals that were proven to have been lying, hosting a Cosby special broadcast show with other identified and well-known white liberal shill Tarana Burke, founder of the Me Too movement, and who was caught in a controversy after she was uncovered admitting that the Me Too movement was established to go after black men. Mark Lamont Hill and Tarana Burke showed no care for actual victims, minimizing the real situations where women are really abused and violated, yet they've made a career's task to continuously put a target on black men's back. Many legal experts tracking Mr. Cosby case pointed out many instances in which documents and statement falsifications were greatly prevalent. For example, in the statements and account recollection, one of the alleged victims claimed to have been drugged and raped by Mr. Cosby at the Playboy Mansion, but after thorough investigation by authorities, it was uncovered that this alleged victim was lying, as it was proven by investigating authorities that Mr. Cosby was not there, on or around the alleged date of this incident. Further, Mr. Cosby took a plea deal to avoid his family the headache, only to find out that the new Montgomery County DA suddenly felt that his predecessor in 2005 had not formally bound the state and therefore the non-prosecution agreement signed with Mr. Cosby was not legally binding and only a public statement, yet Mark Lamont Hill speaks of a justice system in America being broken because it did not incarcerate a black man while casually ignoring the same system that was set up specifically with text and ideals excluding the rights of the same race that he is black. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also remember to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when we release new videos daily.